Hello, my friends in Christ on this Tuesday morning. Again, thankful to God to be able to come together with you today to have the, uh, the health and the will and the desire to share God's word here on social media. And as the thought for the day goes through Matthew today, Matthew chapter 15, when it came to verses 8 and 9, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is speaking about people professing to know him with their lips, but their hearts were far from him. And as I was thinking of these scripture verses, I thought about false professions of faith and how many people on a surface look like they're the real deal, genuine Christians, but they're not. This has been going on since the beginning of time, because even what Christ is quoting here is from Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13, centuries earlier. The Bible tells us in the New Testament, in the last days, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 5, People will put on a form of godliness, but deny the power therein. And something we read also in Titus chapter 1, verse 16. False professions are seen in the Bible. In the New Testament, we have a man by the name of Demas. Demas is a man who labored with the apostle Paul. He's commended in Colossians chapter 4, verse 14. As Paul speaks of him as a, a co-laborer saying that he even greets you, the church of Colossae. But then we read in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 10, that Demas fell away. He was never really of the, uh, the faith. We read of the parable of the sower in Mark chapter 4, verses 1 to 20. You can read that if you have time today or you have a desire. I really encourage you to read that parable that Christ gave. And it's basically a parable of seeds that are planted on the ground and as you read that parable it's a picture of the kingdom of god you know that those that are really saved will evident be evident by their fruit they'll produce more fruit in their lives but there'll be seeds planted there'll be people that'll look like they've really been uh really walking with the lord but because of persecution or because of uh inconveniences they fall away our lord and savior jesus christ reminds us in matthew chapter 24 verse 13 that he who endures till the end shall be saved my friends be careful of those who profess to be christians a tree is definitely known by its fruits satan himself we're told in second corinthians chapter 11 verses 13 to 15 masquerades as an angel of light so will his uh followers many charismatic leaders many charismatic people with charismatic personalities they can uh brainwash people and influence people to think that they're the real deal but they're not you must examine them you must test the spirits as it says in first john chapter 4 verse 1 and one way you really do this is their real is their life first and foremost, evident of what they say. You see, the Pharisees and the religious leaders and the scribes of Jesus' day, they knew the Torah, they knew the law of God. They could quote the Bible, so to speak, but their lives were not evident that they were following God, that they were following Christ. They were hypocrites. And I got to admit, at times, many times in my life, as a follower of Christ, I've lived like a hypocrite myself not always faithfully following the Lord, but a genuine true Christian will endure. He will carry on. Philippians chapter one, verse six tells us that he who began the work will be faithful to complete it. If God has truly saved somebody, he will follow it through till the end. That person will show evidence of salvation. One of the evidences of salvation, I believe, is a genuine conviction of sin. John chapter 16, verse 8, reminds us that the Holy Spirit would come and convict the world of sin. Those who are not really saved, hypocrites, they profess with their lips that they know the Lord, but their way, the ways of the Lord are far from them. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 29, tells us that the ways of the Lord is a refuge to the righteous. When someone is truly righteous, they will follow the ways of the Lord. And that righteousness is not in anything that we do. You see, we can make a profession of faith and put on an act. And, and we can uh, put the, pull the wool over people's eyes. 
but you can't pull the wool over God's eyes. He knows if you're truly righteous, and you're only righteous not by the things that you do, because uh, we read in the Bible in Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6, that our righteous deeds are like filthy rags in God's sight. That's not a pretty sight. Those filthy rags is not something very pleasant. But what the righteousness that we have, as 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30 tells us, is being in Jesus Christ. We follow the ways of God through Christ and Him alone. Not trying to bully people or not trying to brainwash people or, or persuade people to think of who we are and uh, try to manipulate. I guess that's the word, manipulate people. My friends, be careful of these kind of people. As I said before, Satan masquerades as, oftentimes as an angel of light. Yes, he's a roaring lion. Yes, he's a serpent. But also he could come across sometimes as an angel of light. When you follow somebody or you have Christian friends, examine their life. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5 tells us, examine yourself to see if you're in the faith. That's for ourselves. Be observant of people. Make sure that they're following the Lord by the way they live their lives. Also, follow their teachings. Follow their doctrine. Here I am. I come out here. I do a devotional video. And I really, by the grace of God, try to quote the Bible as much as I can because I don't want people to yes you got to see me you got to hear me or any other preacher or teacher that might be out there but I often try to quote the scriptures as much as I can when you follow a teacher or a preacher examine them test the spirits test them to see if they're truly obedient to the Word of God and if there's somebody in your personal life that you follow or you have Christian friends, observe their life. See if their life is consistent with the gospel of Jesus Christ. I hope today's devotional video, my friends, will remind us all to even examine ourselves. As I said before, we need to examine ourselves to see if we're truly in the faith. Are we really worshiping the Lord from the heart? We wake up in the morning. Do we truly have a desire to follow the Lord, read his word, be in prayer, fellowship with other Christians? Or do we wake up or through the course of the day, worry about our favorite football team, or worry about some politician, or worry about our health, or worry about, uh, uh, you know, what I'm gonna eat today, or should I go to the, to the mall to buy more clothes or whatever? Examine yourself. What is the earnest ongoing desire of your heart? Because remember, as 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7 tells us, man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today. May we do heart surgery today spiritually and examine who we are in Christ. In his name we pray. God bless you all.